right, let me do a really quick overview here. Drop some um, what we're doing with our power system, how an RV power system works, and how ours works, and why it is that we're putting another inverter in. So we have our. Let's just say that this is our RV here. And there's the steering wheel and the seat. There's me driving it. Okay, so on the in the RV we have lights up here that are DC powered. We have a microwave over here that is AC powered. So there's two different types of power that we need. Our DC power is a 24 volt system and our AC is just a 120 volt. So in the bus we have our control panel here which is like all of our breakers and that has a red wire and a black wire and a neutral wire and a ground that all <clears throat> come to it. And they all run into one little black line that runs down and out of the bus through the shore power hole to a little shore power tower. You know those things. Kind of like that. And so our batteries are here and our inverter is here and our new inverter is here. Our batteries run up into a little gigavac which allows them to constantly um, drain. And then from there they go this direction, some into an inverter, and the other goes up to this panel to the DC breakers are those ones and the DC power runs out to the lights so we don't have to do anything with the battery power to run the lights to run the microwave or the AC unit we have to convert the DC power into AC power and we do that with our inverter so from there our inverter has we have 5000 watts on each inverter but 5000 watts can't run all three AC units at the same time it can only run up to two or the rest of the stuff you can't run the microwave or the toaster oven or the coffee maker let's see a little coffee cup at the same time that you're running the other one unless you put it on the other leg so each inverter then runs to its own panel like this. You know what a panel is. One of these things. You see it all the time. It's got a switches. So each one gets its own leg from its own inverter at 5 kilowatts. Which then makes it possible to run all of the systems in the entire bus at the same time off of the batteries. So that's why we're doing what we're doing to allow the batteries to run everything. As well, these will also act as an intermediary between the shore power, so our shore comes in here and goes into each of these inverters and then proceeds on to this panel. So they come back to the inverters and then each inverter then wraps into the one line that heads out to shore power. And then we also have our generator over here that runs into both of these which then acts as the transfer switch for the shore power and the generator so these turn off the one that isn't necessary to power the system. So our DC comes down to our batteries. Our batteries 
that runs all those DC lights and stuff. Our AC power has two legs. So these run over to the inverter. So that's it, that's the system right there. And then our photovalics, meaning our solar panels, come down into a charge controller, which then takes that power and runs it directly into the batteries where it stores it. And then that storage comes out to our DC and also over to our inverters to run AC power. That's how the system is set up on my bus and that is why we're putting in this new inverter and adding it to the system. Cool. Ground. Send it up through here. So we're getting this. These all come in. So this is going to go to our AC1. going to go to this side. Okay, so now we're going to hook the batteries up. I've marked one of these cables yellow, showing the red coming from the battery. BMS and the yellow going to uh, the other inverter. So that's how I'll know. Um, and we have all our legs hooked up over here. Black and black. Red and red. AC1, AC2. AC1 is the generator. AC2 is the shore power. Right here is the out and the out to the service panel. We have these little funny guys plugged in like that here as well so I think that's it 
Now we're putting each one of these on, the positive and the negative. Positive and negative powder is named blah, 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 with a 125 amp fuse. And running out to our service panel, it has a 300 amp fuse on each positive leg. So all the batteries will come in here. They'll run through here to here. And that will give us our DC power and provide our inverters with their power. So once we've got these all hooked up, we just put the cases back over, the covering back over them and screw them down. All right, so we look good. Floating, there we go. That is our power system.